Good morning, I am Ludovica Barozzi, full stack developer at Ecosteer, an IoT and blockchain startup for data ownership and monetization. By 2030, in our cities, there will be 75 billion of connected IoT devices. This will digitalize any asset in our cities, our bus, our cars, as well as ourselves, thus creating digital twins. The availability of such a huge amount of IoT data holds the promise of making our cities smarter, safer, cleaner, and more efficient. Basically, IoT big data can enable you to do two things, to discover something that you do not expect and to respond to something that you do expect. In order to discover unknown data patterns and correlations, you need past data or data sets, while to provide instant responsiveness, you need live data or data streams. Actually, data sets are the result of live IoT data stream serialization, so it's important to be able to use the same real data stream for different purposes, which means using it for different applications. In fact, the most valuable form of data is real-time data or data streams. But on a technical basis, what are real-time data streams? Real-time data streams are events, a technical representation of facts that describe the reality around us. Of particular interest are the facts that can be registered by IoT sensors on information systems and are useful within a business environment. For example, car positions, energy consumption, payment transactions, and so on. In fact, the most valuable events are those that allow us to respond to something that we do expect. For example, prevent a car accident. To provide instant responsiveness, you need real-time data streams. You cannot prevent car accident or do autonomous driving with your yesterday's car data. Companies or smart cities need to deploy event-driven architectures, and so platforms capable of distributing live data streams to multiple applications and stakeholders. The ability to share the same data stream with multiple stakeholders and applications will multiply the value of data. Real-time data, such as consumer's data produced by the smart devices, is the new oil, but privacy law are hiring data stream sharing with third parties and thus data monetization opportunities. The reason why it's difficult to reconcile data sharing and privacy laws is of a technical nature. All current event-driven architectures are centralized as they have exclusive control over third-party access to data that passes through them, for example, consumers' data, resulting in non-GDPR, CCPA compliant architectures. Let's take a car example. Today, drivers are the legal data owners, but they cannot control third-party access to their data and definitely cannot monetize it. On the other hand, companies such as uh, car manufacturers or insurances cannot monetize consumers' data and be compliant with privacy laws. According to the GDPR principle of data ownership, data owners should have exclusive control over third-party access to their data. So how can IoT data sharing through event-driven architectures and data privacy law be reconciled? The answer is by adding a layer of data access control decentralization of top of any event-driven architecture, making it neutral and privacy law compliant by design. Using multicast end-to-end -end encryption and blockchain smart contracts is possible to decentralize data access control, putting it back into the hands of the rightful data owners. Data is encrypted at the point of its generation, any IoT device. It then flows through the data sharing platform, for example, a data broker, still encrypted, and it, it can only be decrypted at a points of usage, the data user's application, after explicit consent from the data owner. This consent is given and revoked via a smart contract. By fully decentralizing data ownership control, the blockchain smart contract allows the data owner, a customer, citizen, or a business to unilaterally grant data access to selected data users and to revoke it unilaterally at any time. Additionally, the smart contract 
sets the value of data in tokens and describes the condition for its usage. This animation shows how owners of current centralized architectures have exclusive control over third-party access to consumers' data. By adding a layer of data access control decentralization, data owners can have exclusive control of a third-party access to their data. Adopting this technology, it is possible to decouple the ownership of the infrastructure from the ownership of the information, thus making any event-driven architectures a neutral server. This technology lends itself to use in incorporate data stream marketplaces. Companies can create their own marketplace and can invite selected business partners to access it. In fact, third parties could manifest their interest in having visibility over a data stream, and then the data owner could grant or revoke them visibility over his or her data. Let's make an example. The data that this car generates can be shared with autonomous driving application, e-charging application, fleet management application, and so on. As we can see in this application, we have data about a car. The data owner can see a stakeholder interested in having visibility over his or her data, and he or she can grant or revoke this right to them. He can also be compensated in tokens for sharing his data. And with this token, maybe he could uh, buy some services or having some discount. Other examples could be utilities or financial services, just to name a few out of an infinite number of possibilities. As a result, event-driven architectures will become decentralized, neutral and privacy law compliant by design opening the possibility to create a new decentralized data economy. Thank you for your attention.